Look, Eurocode data is classified into a CDSA, Larvaceae, and Thaliaceae. So, three classes are under the subphylum Eurocode data. Now, the first class, a CDSA. So, this is an example for what a CDSA is known as C skirt or a CDM. It's the largest group of Eurocodate, mostly sedentary. That means they are fixed at the bottom of the sea and some are free swimming forms so they are commonly called tunicates this ascidians are commonly called what tunicates because they have a covering called a tunicin so there is no uh, notochord and post anal tail in the adult but it is present in the larval forms so the notochord and post anal tail is absent in the adult but present in the larva. There is a two opening is called oral and atrial siphons are there. This is the oral siphon and this is the atrial siphons. Two openings are there. So this is the siphon and this is the openings. So inside there is a pharynx and this is provided with the numerous gill slits. Non-chambered and non-valvular heart. The so heart is so simple. And there is a degenerated nervous system and there is no specialized sense organs in the adult so what is the examples is there only only one example that is acedia escalon means what a little bag you can see like just like a uh, this is a colony of a acedia just like a bag it's also known as a sea skirt it is popularly known as sea skirt. It is a marine sedentary found attached to the rock or other substratum, substratum in large association. Morphology, you can see the picture in the in the picture. You can see it's a cylindrical shape with a broad base for attachment. At the free end, there is a wide aperture called oral aperture. This is you can see here two openings are there. So this is called the oral aperture or branchial aperture of the mouth. The other is called the atrial aperture. So there are two two opening mouth and atrial aperture or uh, at branchial aperture and atrial aperture so where is the atrial aperture a little behind the mouth is located the atrial aperture so this marks the dorsal surface of the body this is the dorsal surface of the body uh, the branchial aperture is situated on the prominence called a branchial siphon. It, this is a branchial siphon. On the top, you can see the mouth here. And you can see a prominence here. There is an uh, atrial siphon on the top there you can see the atrial aperture. branchial siphon and a mogul on the mouth The mouth leads to pharynx or branchial sac. So this is uh, the pharynx and it is surrounded by a cavity called so this whole cavity is called atrium which opens out through the atrial aperture and one more important character is the presence of alternation of generations sometimes accompanied by polymorphism and uh, occurs in some forms also uh, you have you might have had studied about the alternation of generation is is the alternate with the sexual and asexual form. Moving on to the very important feature of ascidians are the retrogressive metamorph metamorphosis. Ascidians release many eggs from their atrial siphon and external fertilization happens in the seawater in acidian the egg hatches into a free swimming larva which resembles an amphibian tadpole called acidian tadpole so this is an example for what acidian tadpole the larval forms of acidia is called acidian tadpole or called a tunicate larva and look like a uh, amphibian tadpole what is Steve what are the morphology morphology of Larva is is an oval shape. 
with a laterally compressed tail and the whole body is covered by a thin membrane called tunica or called a test. So it's contained in nervous system. You can see the dorsal tubular nerve cord here in blue color and there is a nerve cord which extends from the tail to the up to the head region not in the head region but up to the head region and there is a well developed digestive system and there is a tubular heart is there there is a mouth and a tuple so most of the systems are well developed in the larval stages and there is you can see a two projection this is called adhesive papillae which helps to anchor at the bottom during its metamorphosis so it helps in attachment it secretes a sticky substance this form is pelagic after short preceding life it undergo metamorphosis into its adult so in that process it becomes geopositives and photo negative that means moves down to the bottom towards the bottom and attach attaches itself to the substratum in an upside down posture with the help of papilla so this is a papilla and fixed at the bottom with upside one with the tail is on the upper side so in the metamorphose metamo metamorphosis it involves degeneration and disappearance of most of its advanced features so this larva possesses a lot of characters like now code autocord heart all those things but as it proceeds from the larval stages to the adult, most of its characters gradually disappears or degenerated. We can see in the picture. So the metamorphosis of a sedient tadpole with advanced features into an adult with less advanced features is called retrogressive metamorphosis. It's not progressive, but it's retrogressive because it lost most of the advanced features as it proceeds into the adult. That's why it's called retrogressive metamorphosis. It's lost its nervous system, it's lost its nerve cord, and, and not a cord, etc. And what are the major changes? Disappearance of tail along with not a cord and caudal portion of the nerve cord. We can see in the picture, so this is the size of the notochord, but as it comes to the second stage, the notochord gradually reduces, the nervous system also starts to degenerating, and the di disappearance of sense organ like sessile vesicle, ocellus, and autocyst. Reduction of nerve cord into neural ganglion, so this is neural ganglion, this well developed nervous system is simply into a neural ganglion here. And development of gonads and gonodects and form a formation of an encasement of test or tunicin. There will be a tough covering over it. That's called tunicin. Ah, during these changes, one important character also happens. Once the larva attaches to the substratum with the help of this adhesive papillae, this is the papillae, the mouth and Atrial apertures brought close, brought close at the free end of the body. This causes shifting of the mouth through the 180 degree. That means, so this is the position of the mouth, right? And this is the adhesive papillae. Now, as it proceeds during the metamorphosis, this mouth is gradually moves upwards. Now it reaches here. When it goes to this picture, it moves to upper side. So from the there will be a shift from one into one eighty degree movement from lower to the upper region. So this shifting of mouth and atrial siphon happens during the metamorphosis. So thus oh, the bilaterally symmetrical larva develops into an as asymmetrical sedentary adult. So this larva, a serian tadpole. So it's in the Syrian tadpole finally becomes a sedan, sedentary asymmetrical adult by losing all of its major organ and organ system.
so this is called a retrogressive metamorphosis hmm? so what are the major changes the first changes during the uh, retrogressive metamorphosis is attachment to the substratum second one is what degeneration of nerve cord and notochord and tail region and third one is what the shifting of mouth from the lower supper surface to the upper surface and finally it becomes a sedentary adult so this is called retrogressive metamorphosis